now let's move on to our exact slide where I where we left uh, here. Uh, this is so we have, we have been talking about the Van Diemter equation. Now, what is Van Diemter equation? Van Diemter equation tells us uh, how the column and the flow rate affect the plate height. So, what is column and what is the flow rate? So, now let's talk about that. So, suppose let me choose a color here. It is, yeah. Suppose we have a column because we need a column to run a chromatography, as we know, because the column contains a stationary phase. Which is which resides inside the, the column, and you also have a mobile phase, which is the mobile or carried from one place to another place. So in this column, but we have a flow rate. Flow rate of what? Flow rate of uh, the mobile phase along with the analyte molecule. So we have mobile phase, analyte molecules are dissolved in this mobile phase, and we know that the analyte molecules can have interaction with mobile phase as well as they can have the interactions with the sub stationary phase but in this case the flow rate can be affected affected and uh, as the flow rate changes it change the plate height so what do you mean by the plate height it is uh, the measurement remember h equals we, we have learned that l by n so this is the thing we know that what is the plate height it is the measurable amount of error so if you look at this, so L by N, this is the measurable amount of error. So you can remember a thing like that. H means the plate height is the minimal amount of error according uh, uh, in the case of uh, the chromatographic techniques. In any kind of chromatographic technique which is carried throughout a column. So any mistake throughout the column, okay, that that will eventually result in the mis separation or bad results. Uh, can be measured with this H or uh, we call it the plate height. The plate height means L by N. L means it, it is uh, the length of the column and N is the number. It is the number or uh, this number suggests us how accurate the separation is. So, so whether we have a higher, if we have higher N then we have a good separation. If we have lower N then we have the bad separation or the bad quality chromatography. So, in this equation, if we need to have a good chromatographic situation, the N figure have to be high. If the N has to be high, then the overall scheme will be lowering down. So, it, it, these things will go lower, right? So, the plate height will decrease. So, what we need to have a good, good chromatographic separation, we need this parameter, this H, to be get low. So if we have this H parameter to get low, we need to have a higher N, we need to have a lower L and we need also need to have a different amounts of these parameters. What are these parameters? Now let's talk about in in, in little bit more detail in, le in later si slides. Now how the flow rate can affect uh, the separation. So let's think about this is the graph. Okay. So let's think about the separation. So here is the injection begins and here is the first peak we can observe here. Okay, after some time. So this is after some time we can observe another graph here. It is for the component A of analyte and this is the component B of the same analyte which are separated according to the time. So here is the time, here is the detector. Now if we change the system, if we change this thing, if we change this thing, so do something like that, same thing. If, if we change the flow rate then what will happen the flow rate is changed as a result of the flow rate change the detector may not be able to identify when the separation is actually is taking place okay so in this case they will overlap so in most of the cases they are not separated in a dis uh, as a distinct peaks so they are separated like an overlap because of the higher flow rate so if we increase the flow rate over time and uh, after after some point it will eventually leads to the overlapping peaks like that as a result of this we cannot measure the chromatograph we cannot measure uh, individual analyte components so the chromatographic technique in this case has have a serious mistake so the flow rate can affect the mistake things so we need to be clarify the minim the margin for error as low as possible so if we remain if we make 
the margin for error lower then it will help us to distinguish the more accurately how the chromatography is going on so here is the thing proposed by van Timter. so h is this plate plate height and it depends on the multiple paths so how many paths the mobile pays along with the analyte takes uh, from the column to pass through for example in this picture we can look at this mobile face can go through this path which is the one direction this is the second path this is the third path so there are different paths so the flow rate if we change the flow rate the different direction will change because this path is relatively uh, if the mobile face choose this path then we can travel really faster than choosing this second this path and then this path okay so selection of paths uh, is really important okay so in this case it is denoted in A and it also depends on the longitudinal diffusion so what is longitudinal diffusion in this picture it is given out if we use the mobile phase which is liquid then the liquid uh, may have pressure from the both side so it, it may have the pressure from this direction and as the, as the nature of a liquid it can also have a bouncing pressure in the opposite side and that's how this kind of oscillation can take place this is called the longitudinal diffusion this kind of diffusion can also take place if uh, we change the velocity of that mobile phase if we change the flow rate and if we change the flow of that uh, of that uh, mobile phase okay so in this case thi this will again decrease our measurement quality okay so we need these things to be low and again the third component is the mass transfer component which is unit to cu okay so in this case okay so in this case what is uh, written here uh, uh, so the transfer of solute between phases with temperature this is a very important thing so if we vary the temperature the transfer of solid molecule from phase uh, stationary to from for to phase uh, mobile is different so we have the analyte here we have the mobile phase and we have the stationary phase they interact with each other but if we change the temperature change in temperature will lead to the interaction differentiation so the interaction it poses with uh, this mobile phase in the previous time can be changed uh, for the after time okay so this kind of this kind of changes can be can happen in all these cases okay so what we are doing here we are uh, making ways to lowering down this plate height which is h and if we low if we can low down the plate height which is caps h we can have a good separation using chromatographic techniques okay so here it is the thing we have to lowering down we have to lower, lower down this caps h okay. that means we always want this caps h to get smaller now this is the Van Dimter equation for plate height you can see again this is a multiple for multiple paths for longitudinal diffusion it is for the equilibri equilibri equilibration time ok 